And I read just a couple of days ago a piece that you wrote about some of the stuff that Reza Aslan has said, and I find him to be a profoundly dishonest player in this space, and I see what he's done to Sam Harris. Most of my audience knows about all of that already. Uh, can you explain a, a little bit about what your, what your stuff is with him? Uh, well, so this was um, in response to, I wrote, I co-wrote a piece with Mohammed Zayed, who also works with ex-Muslims in North America. Uh, there was, there's a CNN clip that's been going around, and it's making rounds again. Mm -hmm. uh, the CNN clip where Reza Aslan is on, and he talks about FGM, and he talks about Bill Maher, and uh, talks about how uh, FGM isn't, an, uh, isn't a Muslim problem. Uh, it's an African problem. Yeah. That's Female how genital mutilation. We should just say it for the few people that may not be aware. Right. And, yeah. And, he, and, he, and then he, um, he puts a few other things out there uh, as evidence that uh, Muslim-majority countries are actually not that bad for women, uh, including, you know, there are some women that are heads of state, and et cetera. Um, so I wrote a piece about it, uh, co-wrote a piece about it, and published it on The Friendly Atheist. And it got this big response, because I feel like there were some people that, a good amount of people, that were wanting somebody to pick up on these things that they felt like weren't true. Mm -hmm. but they, they couldn't say this. And we said it, and we laid it out there, and we laid it out very clearly about why the points that he was making were dishonest, uh, at the you know at the least. And I think in a lot of ways he's aware of what he's doing. So he said he said many times that um, you know Muhammad he said something to the extent of you know how Muhammad uh, freed the slaves. Uh, he said things in, in that vein quite a few times. And that is extremely dishonest. That is not true. It's just not true. Um, all Muhammad did was say that you can't enslave another Muslim. And there are many people, many scholars who think that this actually encouraged the spread of the slave trade because suddenly you're in Arabia and you can't slave, enslave another Muslim, so you have to go out and you mm -hmm. have to Africa and you have to go to various places to get your slaves. Uh, he, did not, he didn't condemn slavery. He had slaves. He had sex slaves. That um, for the people that are the real Islamic extremists, they simply, at the end of the day, no matter how much my friends on the left want to blame everything on American foreign policy and all of this stuff, no matter, you know, Boko Haram killed about 160 people last week. It had nothing to do with American foreign policy, right? Um, Yet this is, they always blame everything on America. And I don't deny, as I said at the top of the show, I don't deny that foreign policy has mucked up a, a lot of things. But this is where people on the left just completely fail, right? Absolutely. And I'm, I'm very, I'm sick of hearing that colonialism is to blame for all of this. I'm sick of it. That one particular thing I hear all the time, that this is, it's because of colonialism. And it doesn't really make any sense when you look into it. And again, not to say, not to say that colonialism was in a horrible, horrible practice. I mean, I'm from the South Asian subcontinent. So right. we were colonized by England and it was horrible what England did to, to South Asia and, and the effects, the long ranging effects it had on South Asia. But there are, it's just so easy to throw away the colonialism uh, excuse when it comes to radical Islam. I mean, I mentioned two of these in my speech, which is that uh, Muslims have been doing this sort of thing, violence, justifying violence in the name of religion since way before colonialism ever came into the picture, right? That it's existed for a long, long time. And when you say colonialism is the only thing to blame, you are denying that that whole history existed, that there were so many people that were oppressed in the name of Islam. It's happened before, and it's happening again. It's the same sort of thing. Yeah. But in general, I have felt that the people that, on paper, should be supporting me. Um, and I looked into this, actually, as a response to seeing the way that leftists have reacted. I've started to do more research on what liberal principles were and really trying to get a grounding on what it meant to be a liberal. And I feel, and Bill Maher said this so many times, he said, I'm the real liberal. Yeah. And I think he's right. He's right when he says he's a real liberal. And I feel like I'm the real liberal. Yeah. So you're not gross and racist, that's what you're telling me? Oh, God. That... <laughs> that, that was so bad. That was so bad. And yeah. honestly, okay, here's, here's, when I was watching that, I kind of felt, I'm going to get haters for this, but I kind of, for Ben Affleck a little bit, I kind of thought, oh, it's cute that he's standing up, he thinks he's standing up for the poor oppressed minority. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what he thinks he's doing. That's what he's really convinced that he's standing up for an oppressed group. And it's nice that he has good intentions. It's, very, it's nice. I appreciate that. But he's so wrong. And he's really hurting these same minorities. And he's not understanding exactly what's going on here. And it was very interesting in that particular scenario to see Sam 
and then very emotional Ben Affleck, very, very emotional Ben Affleck, and very calm Sam Harris. You know, I think you'll find this interesting. I was discussing this with, I, well, first off, I discussed it with Sam himself, right. but I also discussed it with Joe Rogan a couple weeks ago on his show, and I said what you just said. I said, well, you know, I think he was trying to do the right thing and trying to, and maybe he got too emotional, but, you know, he was trying to stand up for the downtrodden, that kind of thing. And Joe said something that I now fully believe. I mean, he got me to change my opinion like that. He said, no, he's like, man, I know actors. I'm around actors. They fake this so that everyone will just think they're so holy, they're so benevolent, they're so wonderful, and all that. And, and he was really convinced that that's what Ben was doing there. But I, I, don't, I don't want to waste any more, uh, any more time.